Hey guys, it's Rich from HYB, and today I'm here to talk to you about the basis of Here's Your Breakdown, Aaron Sohota. So today we're going to talk about Aaron's bass style. Um, what else are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about Aaron's writing, and we're also going to talk about his recording and live performance. So first I want to talk about um, Aaron's bass style, because it's pretty distinctive. Um, there's not really many other pop punk kids that are playing like how he plays. I think that's really cool, you know, he has his own thing. It's quite like riffy, so I'll be like, hey Aaron, I've got this riff, you know, like this, like really simple, dun, 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 dun. and I'll be like, dude, I've got some cool lyrics for this, and he'll be like, yeah man, I've got bass line. And then it would be like, okay, suddenly now we have like a blues jam out over like something like this. It suddenly turns into like sort of a. Which is cool. And I think kind of like his personal goal is to try and fit as many notes as he can in a short amount of time. I mean, seriously, Aaron, you know, is hugely influenced by Pete Wentz. That's like his favorite bassist, you know. He plays with a pick like Pete Wentz does, he, you know, jumps around and screams like Pete Wentz does. Um, I would say Pete Wentz is kind of like the model of what Aaron Sohota would like to be. You know, maybe one day he'll get there. Just kidding. No, Aaron is really more into like Mike Dern from Green Day. And there's a few other bassists, he's really into like Anti-Flag. And the bassist is sick. Um, yeah. But I think Aaron has his own style anyway. You know, he plays with fingers, not with a pick. So he plays like this. Like... I never really understand how he does the running so fast. It's pretty cool. Whenever I'm watching him do it on stage, I'm just like, what, 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 what? Yeah, Aaron's a quite a funny performer. Um, you know, sometimes he's really still and he's all like, you know, moody, like indie kid like this. And then other times he does this really cool shuffle. And like, if any of you guys have seen us live, you might have seen it. He kind of like starts jigging around. It's pretty cool. And then he'll he like get to a part where he's about to scream and then it's like angry Aaron, you know, right in your face, Rawr! that kind of thing. But the jig is kind of like, I mean, I could only describe it as gay for women, you know. It's kind of a bees ass move, but it works, you know? It's his thing, and it looks good. That's what you have to remember. I mean, you know, Aaron in the studios is, is pretty cool. He just sits there, he kind of rocks out to himself. He's pretty, like, focused when he's in the studio. And he'll do, like, one or two takes, and he'll be like, you know what? Nailed it. Damn, I nailed it, man. I got this. And then we listen back and I'm like, hey, Aaron. And he's like, yeah, bro. And I'm like, do you want me to quantize this? And he's like, yeah, bro. No, I'm just joking. Um, we don't really quantize his bass that much. That much. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, Aaron, like, kind of has a good idea of, like, the sound that he wants in terms of, like, bass tone. So it's always pretty easy to kind of dial in something that's super Mark Coppice. E. All about that treble. No bass. <laughs> I think my favorite story, like recording with Aaron, was um, when we were doing my uni project and we were doing like drums and bass for Novella in like this freaking huge hall at uni. And we had a night session booked, and I was all like, oh, dude, we're gonna stay up all night. I bought like energy drinks and there was like snacks and stuff like that. I went into the tracking room to start playing. And like first he's there like, you know, yeah man, I got this. Like, dun -dun 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 -dun. And then like, as the night goes on, he's gradually sort of like, oh dude, I'm just gonna sit down. And then I come back into the tracking room after one of my takes and he's sleeping. And he, you know, he goes on about the kidnapping, but you know, that was some serious napping right there. And I had to finish the rest of the session by myself running in and out of the two rooms. So uh, cheers for that, bro. I think like me and the kid are really lucky because Aaron finds us like so derp 
and you know so that I'm surprised that he still hangs out with us. We're quite lucky that we have a bassist, really. Um, but like, there have been a few times where he's, you know, he's had to endure so much derpiness that he has had his own derp moments, you know. Like, um, I love the camera! And there's a few others, and, you know, he started saying gay for women as well, so, you know, our derpness is like rubbing off on him and I do feel bad for dragging him down but if that's the only way that we're gonna keep him as the basis for this band then I'm not sorry <laughs> this, um, Aaron is one of my best friends, him the kid and I'm just really happy that I have some guys that I can write music with and try and make something that's really cool to find out a bit more about Aaron's bass um, check out his video um, he kind of spoke about the bass he uses, um, which bass he used to write some songs, and he played some of the songs on the bass as well, so you can kind of hear it without all the, the drums and guitars and everything, just really stripped back and kind of, you know, see what he actually does, which is really cool. Cool, guys. Well, that's Aaron Sohota, um, bassist from Here's Your Breakdown. Um, if you like the video, please subscribe to our channel um, for more stuff like this, um, and keep your ears peeled, because we have new music coming up i promise we're almost there guys thank you for your support and we'll see you in another video take care guys goodbye these asses that you